Hello everybody. I just wanted to share with you guys a, a cool tether. Uh, something that's very interesting and it kind of uh, simulates other types of tethers that are, are curved or sort of like the, uh, the chicane which is also curved and has a handle on it. Um, it's called the uh, Shimargo, Shimargo tether and it's got this I don't know what is that 120 degree bend in it something like that uh, real light bend but uh, it keeps your rope wrench engaged also uh, assisting that engagement is this rubber grommet looking thing here it's really nice it's um it's pretty awesome looking looks awesome really does so it's got an attachment for the chest harness and down low it also has a attachment for uh, your carabiner and with a grommet surprisingly i don't know why they put a grommet on there it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me but you want to move that backwards so that if you're using a pinto style pulley it's not rubbing against the rope and catching it and making it harder for you to tend slack or to even go you know ascending the rope all those kinds of things so i uh, just want to orient that grommet backwards so that it's not in the way and it's not touching your rope while it's in the pinto pulley or any other fixed eye pulleys uh, so just something to keep in mind there uh, without further ado we're gonna go up on this thing right now and i'm gonna show you guys something cool all right uh, so the first thing I like to do is obviously attach my rope wrench. So as I was saying before, you want to put the grommet oriented backwards so it's not interfering with your rope on fixed eye pulleys, okay? If this thing was out front there, it would really just it would just make your life very difficult. There it goes. They're both facing the same way. Very good. All right guys, so as you can see, the rope wrench is already semi-engaged and does have a little give uh, it's it's just it's pretty much just engaged right there it's taking a good load off your hitch uh, it does its job nicely uh, I like this design um, you guys should consider something like this if um, the length of the tether isn't an issue for you then uh, for sure get, get one of these things and also make sure you have a nice short hitch uh, something that's going to stay nice and sh uh, short um, the way you tie it will help and also getting maybe like a 28 inch hitch or even a 24 inch eye and eye Stop. Uh, yeah.
All right guys, so um, the way that the rope wrench is currently engaged is uh, that's all from just sitting back into it. Uh, so that's really good. This is a good sign that your rope wrench is working and that your hitch isn't all locked up and binded into itself, you know what I mean? So. The Shimargu tether is an upgrade above the, the fixed tie or the um, Rope Logics, the fixed tethers. I would love to see this in a shorter configuration. Sort of how, sort of how uh, Rope Logic has a, a shorty tether. It uh, kind of straightens out here a little bit, um, but that's. That's because it uh, it's taking the load, I, I would imagine. Uh, to me, that's actually a good thing. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It just, it means that this thing is definitely working and it seems like they designed it this way. So there you can see that the Shimargu took its original shape and now it's loaded. So, very nice design. Shimargu, thumbs up. You guys uh, made made some made a very good, innovative product. I know there are some uh, some other types of tethers uh, offhand. I don't remember the names of the tethers, but there's this uh, one. It's a metal one, and it's like a curved shape. That thing's like almost 200 bucks. Uh, this thing right here is like 40 bucks. Just like any other tether, uh, like the fixed tether, um, so very competitively priced and very competitive within that price range. Uh, I'm willing to put this one at the top uh, versus uh, a fixed tether. I'll reach for this one rather than the fix on any given day. So give it a shot. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, it's really cool looking. It's very, the design, how it looks is awesome. How it works is awesome. Uh, and wow, I, I am thoroughly impressed. Uh, once I sit back into it, I'm already engaged. This is, I haven't even pulled down on my hitch yet to, uh, to engage the, uh, the rope wrench. That's something I would definitely have to do with a, um, I don't know, if I was using the, the fixed tether, have to uh, yeah, put some slack into my system in order for me to get the rope wrench to engage. So this gear is engaging immediately. It's, uh, it's just a very well-rounded product. Props to Shimargu, give it a shot. It's a really nice tether and I recommend it to all climbers.